Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Jada's Joe here once again, clean shaven and with a new haircut. A look that we're all going to have to deal with until it grows out again. But anyway, having another discussion video here today. Um, not too much of a rant, more of just a discussion. Um, unfortunately, it is going to be on Tom Clancy's The Division. Uh, I've been talking about that game a lot lately, mostly because really super excited about it coming out. The, however, we're not going to be talking about um, the Dark Zone PvP and the stuff wrong with that. We're not going to talk about the game, whether or not it's going to fail or not. Uh, we're really not going to be talking about uh, how the PC version is getting hacked uh, hardcore by cheaters. Uh, not really going to talk about any of that stuff. We're going to talk a little bit more about the nuances that uh, I came across in the beta in the game that I personally really enjoy. And the first one is... Um, People are calling it an MMORPG, um, like a lot of people call Destiny an MMORPG, not really going to be an MMORPG, it's a shared instance or a shared world um, RPG. Um, pretty much, you can get together with four of your friends, wh whoever the leader is, you go to their world, you share their world with them, and run around in their game space, and then when you disband, you go back to your game space and you can run around in your world. So it's not really an MMO where you got, you know, thousands of people running around the same game world um, at the same time you are. And uh, it's understandable they did it that way, so it's a little easier, especially for the FPS genre, uh, to do it that way. But uh, the one thing that I really found cool about it, and it was kind of an interesting idea, an idea that I haven't seen before in modern video games, is um, they have a skill tree. Uh, if you want to know my feelings on the skill tree, uh, go ahead and watch my modern RPG uh, video and you'll understand my feelings on the skill tree. But they have a skill tree. But the best thing they did... I got a puppy. Big old rocks just right down here and I'm petting, so that's what I'm doing with my hands. Um, they, what they did with the skill tree, they did something interesting, something that a lot, a lot of people, not a lot of people are paying attention to. Because skill trees are just so prevalent in modern RPGs that we tend to forget about them and, you know, just use them wherever they're at. But what they actually did is they separated your skill tree from your character level. Which is a really cool idea and something that I'm super excited about. So instead of leveling up and getting points to put into a skill tree to get better skills, they actually separated it from the character altogether and they put it on your base of operations. And what you do is you run around and do missions and as you do certain missions for certain wings of your base, they give you points, and the points you then can allocate towards that particular wing to get you your skills. And by separating the skill tree from the character level, there's a lot of opportunity there for you to run around, do all the main story missions, not worry about the side quests or anything like that, and to be max level and have your basic skills still. And that's a smart thing to do, because usually people play games, they run around, they level up, they get skills, they get weapons, they get armor, and by the time they're max level, they have everything that they need. Uh, but by doing it the way that the Division did it, they stopped that. They stopped that by going, okay, well, you can be level 20 now, but if you're not taking care of your base, or if you're not leveling up your base, you don't get any of your skills. And that's a genius, amazing idea, in my opinion. Because, as I said a lot of times before, you play a game, you level up, you hit level 20, you have all your skills, and there's really nothing else to do other than run around and farm for loot or do some dun dungeons or instants or, you know, go do PvP. But this way, you can hit level 20, and now not only are you farming for your armor and your loot, but you're also sitting there and you have to go back and you have to do all these side missions to level up your base of operations to get your skills. Now, they really haven't gone too much into the talent portion of the game yet. Um, matter of fact, I don't think they touched on it at all, which is kind of concerning, considering the game can, comes out in almost probably a month and three days or something like that. They really should release more information on the talent and how those function, whether it's based on your level up, or you leveling up as a character, or is it based on your... Uh, base of operations, but it's a real cool core concept that they have separating the skill tree from the character. Um, it's something I'm really looking forward to because, as I said, you can be max level and you can only still have your basic skills because you haven't been taking care of your mo or your mother base. I'm going to call it mother base from now on. Um, your base of operations, um, and you can go back. At, during the end game, go back and blast through all the previous missions to get these points to upgrade 
uh, your skills and stuff. And to me, it's a cool little thing that most people have overlooked, the fact that they have separated the skill tree from the character. And I'm really looking forward to that. Now, it's kind of a ballsy thing that they did, because as I said, the skill tree is so ingrained in modern RPGs that we're used to them and we expect them. And the fact that they did this, it could hurt them or it could, you know, be an awesome system. Me, personally, I think it's going to be an awesome system. Uh, let's see, other things about the Division. Uh, we already went over how it's not an MMO, um, more of a shared, shared world. Um, went over the skill tree being separate. Um, they released a newer video, I believe, yesterday or a few days ago, how the skills that you acquire actually can stack and interact with the skills that uh, your teammates have. Like they showed like a guy throw out a movable blockade or a movable cover point, and another guy goes up and you know puts a machine gun turret on it, and the other guy pops um, a ping. I call it a ping, but it's like a scan that increases damage. Um, so it's pretty cool how not only systematically do the skills work together, but they actually physically work together. And I'm really looking forward to that, especially if they get really in-depth with that into, like, saying if you do this and your teammate does this and then this does this, or your other teammate does this, how you get this awesome stack of skills that um, I'm really personally looking forward to. Because, yeah, I know previous ML, previous, you know, RPGs have done that where, you know, if you do this and this character and this other player does this and this to this, it, you know, it does X or does this. But all those have been pretty instantaneous skills. It's like you hit it, you hit it, you hit it, does its damage and it's over. In the division, it seems that the skills that stack on top of each other actually stay on the field more than just, you know, a few seconds or more than just a second or more than just do damage. So it'll be really interesting to see how that goes. Um, with that said, really didn't want this to be a long video. I'm going to do some more long discussion video. But please, tell me what you think um, about them separating the skill tree from the actual character level and placing it on a totally different object. Uh, if you like it, you know, talk about that. If you hate it, talk about that. If you're not exactly sure, you know, talk about that. Love getting in into conversations with you guys. Um, if you say something really, really, really profound, um, I'll go ahead and I'll make a video on your profound subject matter. Uh, but please, um, as always, like, subscribe, you know the drill. Uh, but more importantly, have fun and be safe. Thank you so much for watching.